Hi guys, how you doing? It's been a while, but anyway, let me just jump right into it. So the question that I want to address today is how do you become creative during this season? And I'll begin with Genesis chapter one. It says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created the heavens and the earth. So we meet the word created in the first chapter of the Bible. What does this tell us, guys? It tells us that God is the God of creativity. So like for me, if I have to like just to chip in a little bit about my story. So I didn't believe that I was a creative person. I didn't believe that I am made for the creative world. And here is why. I didn't believe because I would actually look at somebody's creativity and I'm like, wow, wow. If like, I could never do that. I could never like speak in front of camera and start a YouTube channel. I could never write something and start a blog, you know, because I was looking at somebody else and I was comparing myself to somebody else. And this is the biggest thing that most people do. They compare themselves in creativity. There is only you okay so if you want to to you, you you're thinking of ways like what am i passionate about what can i do like you know i feel like i should be doing something but i'm not doing anything let me tell you one thing that will hold you back is comparison do not compare yourself to anyone you are yourself in creativity you don't have to post your videos every day. You don't have to, like, it, it doesn't have to look like, uh, you, don't, you don't have to use an iPhone, like, to record your, your, your videos. Like, anything that you have in your hand right now, use it, okay? And the second thing that I want to say is that um, God has given each and everyone talents and gifts. So, like, I remember, like, because I was always all my life i've been reading books you know um studying law uh you know not like um and you know in in that field you know you you feel like you are supposed to be reading 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 and you can't you can't understand how you can be creative and when i stepped into ministry i was exposed to this world the world of creativity and one thing that god showed me is that to be low you are also creative in your own way, okay? And he said, like, remember and trace back when you were a child what you used to love to do. And I remembered, like, I told, uh, I, I told one friend of mine that um, when I was young, I would watch uh, a movie. And after I watch a movie, I would actually script it down and write it down and write it down. And I remember the first script that I wrote was Sarafina, like because that was my favorite movie. So I scripted Sarafina down and I gave it to my mom and my mom took it and went um, in her workplace and showed her friends and say, look at my child. She did this. And I would actually go into the library as young as I am. I would read books and, you know, um, as students, we would be given about like two weeks to finish a book but before two weeks um finishes i'm already done like five books already down and i was just like where did i lose that passion i lost it when i became consumed in sin in the things of this world because those are the things that distract us from like you know um igniting things that are inside of us, igniting things that God has actually placed inside of us. So the second thing that I want you to do is that you need to sit down with God and say, God, show me where am I creative? Like God will show you. And the first thing that God will show you is that trace back when you were a child, when you were a child, the things that you love to do, go back to that childlike, go back to where you used to get excited doing things so like during this um time and quarantine and i know like some laws are you know being loosened of the movements of people so people are going back to work but hey 
The creative world needs you. It needs you. It needs your creativity. It needs your innovation. We need that. We need to see that. Do not let fear and comparison hold you back. I love you so much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.